this is Spirit Plumber for Robots Everywhere. I am demoing the propeller bridge for Android. Now, let me, this is the propeller board. It has a 6 megahertz crystal on it. Now, let me scare it by these jumbo wires. The actual parts used by this hack are the propeller chip, two resistors, and a USB connector. That's it. Now, the the thing I wrote was based on a USB FS host object and uses the ADB bridge by pretending to be a PC with ADB running on it. This allows an unrooted phone to operate and talk to the microcontroller using either a shell terminal or a telnet socket. Now in this demo I'm gonna use both. I got a shell term I got a shell in this for sending data to the phone and a socket to send data from the phone to the microcontroller. You can probably have telnoid connections, but I'm only using two right now. First thing you do is you connect the phone. There we go. It's said it's connected now. And you can just send data in and out. For example, with my website, I send it to the board, and here it comes. I sent something else back. And here it, up, here it comes. Pretty simple. Now, what does this do? This lets you use an Android phone as a general purpose interface because the propeller chip is a lot of room in it. Now this little trick here uses about half of it. As an example of what you can do, um, well, let me show you my little demo bot and skip a few development stages. having this thing control a propeller based robot. Okay. Let's really move the USB, there we go. It's got a chassis on it. should be fairly obvious that the potentiality of this is pretty wide. Uh, now, I could do this about a year ago, but it required a custom kernel and a serial port drive that only works on some phones. This, on the other hand, works on any phone. And unlike my previous audio port hack, can be used for high-speed communication both ways. Of course, you'll still need an Android phone, but since the ADB standard is not likely to change anytime soon, it will work uh, with any Android phone. That's it for me.